this is Tracy. Welcome to our seventh bridge lesson. Uh, this will be Friday the 12th. Um, for the kids who are missing Friday and coming to Saturday, you can look at it today. We're going to keep going with learning about bidding of no trumps. So last week we told you that an opening bid of one no trump shows exactly 15, 16 or 17 high card points and a balanced hand, which means you can have at most one doubleton, you can't have any singletons or any voids. We're now going to go through some examples of some hands and ask you what your opening bid would be. So you can pause the video and think about what your opening bid would be. So here's the first one. Think about what your bid would be and then go on. You can pause the video. So here you have 17 high card points and you do have a balanced hand because you only have one doubleton. That's down here in clubs. So you would open the bidding one no trump. What about this hand? What would you open the bidding? Pause the video. Again, you would open one no trump. You have 16 high card points and you don't have any singletons or doubletons, so you do have a balanced hand. What about this example? What would you open the bidding here? Pause the video. So again here, you have 16 high card points, but you do have two doubletons, which means you do not have a balanced hand. You have a two suited hand. And when you have two suited hands, you open the bidding with one of your longest suit. So you would open the bidding one club here and later you would bid hearts. What about this example? What would you open? Pause the video. Here you have 14 high card points and a balanced hand. You don't have enough points to open the bidding one no trump. So you would open one diamond being your longest minor because you don't have a five card major. Right, so now you know how to open the bidding one no trump. What happens, what does your partner do? So we're talking about the person whose partner has opened the bidding with one no trump. The partner of that person is called the responder and what do they bid? So these are the rules and you have to learn them. With between zero and seven high card points, you are going to pass. You know that you have no chance of game. With your seven points and at most 17 high card points from your partner, you can't get to 25, so you just pass and keep the bidding as low as possible. If you have between eight and nine high card points, we say you have an invitational hand. That means that if your partner has a maximum hand for their bid, so if they have 17 points and you have eight, then you get to 25. So you want to invite your partner to bid game, so you bid two no trump, and that says to your partner, I've got eight or nine high card points. If you've got the top of your range, so a good 16 points or 17 points, then you bid three no trump. If your partner has 15, a minimum hand, he just passes. As the responder, if you have 10 or more high card points, you know you have enough points for game because your partner has at least 15. He opened one no trump. So you just bid game. You bid three no trump. However, if you have a six card major or a longer major, then it's better to play in the major than to play in no trumps. And since your partner cannot have a singleton or a void because they opened one no trump, you know that they have at least two cards in your six card major, which means you have a fit. So if you have a six card major, then you can add on points in your hand for distribution and you will come up with your total points. You will add them to your partner's 15 to 17 and you will bid your suit at the correct level. So if you have enough points for game, you bid game. If you have eight to nine total points, including your distribution, you would bid three of your major. And if you had a minimum hand of you know, naught to seven high card points, you would bid two of your major. And that's saying to your partner, I've got a weak hand, but I've got a lot of this suit 
and we're safer playing in two hearts or two spades than playing in one note trump. So here are some examples. Here your partner opened one note trump and you are therefore the responder. What is your response? Pause the video and if you need to you can go back and look at those rules. All right, here you have seven high card points, which means that you have no possibility of game with your partner because he has at most 17, which is 24, so you pass. What about this example? Your partner opened one no trump. What is your response? Pause the video. Here you have nine high card points, which means you have an invitational hand. You bid two no trump. And if your partner has a maximum hand, he will go on and bid three no trump, otherwise he will pass. What about this example? Pause the video. Here you have 11 high card points, which means that even with your partner's minimum 15, you have enough for game, being 26. You want to be in game, so you bid three no trump. And what about in this example? Your partner opens one no trump, or what do you respond? You have seven high card points and because you know your partner must have at least two spades because he has a balanced hand, he cannot have a singleton or a void, you know you have a fish in spades which means you can add on three points for your heart singleton. Seven plus three is ten, that's enough points added to fifteen of your partners to get you to game, so you bid four spades. Right, now we're going to go through a bit of revision with no trump bids in general because a lot of you were getting confused about the different point ranges with different no trump bids. Now what's important to remember is that it all depend depends on context. So what has been bid before and who bid what as to what a one no trump bid may mean or a two no trump bid may mean. So. No trump bids are always limited, which means they have a point range, so a specific minimum and maximum point range. Every time you or your partner bid something no trumps, you are telling your partner a specific point range in your hand. And because they have a limited, point, a limited range of points, they're not forcing. So your partner knows how many points you have, and if he doesn't have enough points to bid anymore, he'll just, he can pass. So here's our revision. This is no trump bids by the opener. So we're just looking at one big black box here at a time. In this one, the opener bids one heart. The responder, so the opener's partner, bids one spade, which as you know is forcing and unlimited. It shows at least six points and a spade suit. And the opener then bids one no trump. He had to bid something. The question is how many points does this one no trump bid show? I'd like you to pause the video and think about it. The answer is it shows between 12 and 14 high card points. The bottom of the range 12 is because this person opened the bidding, so we know this person has at least 12 high card points. The 14 is because if this person had 15 or more high card points, he probably would have opened one no trump, and he didn't. So his range is 12 to 14 points. What about in the second example? The opener opens one heart, the responder bids two diamonds which we know shows that the responder has at least 10 high card points because he bid a new suit on the two level. And now the opener bid two no trump. How many high card points does this two no trump bid show? You should be able to work out that it also shows 12 to 14 high card points. And the reason it shows the same strength as that first hand is because this two diamond bid forced the opener to bid again. And if he doesn't have a fit, he is bidding the only bid he has available, which is two no trump. And it's okay for the partnership to be in two no trump here because the responder is stronger in this hand. The responder has at least 10 points here and in the first one he had at least six. 
Of course, in both cases, the responder could have enough points for game, and if he does, he can still bid it over these no trump bids. In this third example, the opener opens one no trump, and the responder bids two no trump. Do you know what those two bids show in terms of points? The one no trump bid shows 15 to 17 high card points and a balanced hand. The two no trump shows an invitational hand, so it shows eight or nine high card points. And what it's saying to partner is go on to game if you have enough points. When the opener passes, what he's saying is I've got a minimum hand for my one no trump, so I've only got 15 points. So therefore he passes and they don't get to game because 15 plus 9 is not enough points. In this fourth example, the opener opens one no trump, responder bids two no trump, and the opener bids three no trump. How many points does the opener have? Again, he showed 15 to 17 with his first bid, responder showed 8 or 9 with his invitational bid, and the opener showed probably 17 points, or at least 16, with his three no trump bid. So he has gone on to game and he is not a minimum hand. And finally, the opener opens one diamond, responder bids a heart, and the opener bids two no trump. Now you will notice that this is, this is what we call a jump. So the opener didn't bid the next no trump level up, which would have been one no trump. He jumped to two no trump. And that means something special. And we can actually work out what it means by looking at what else he would have bid if he had a different hand. So we know that if he had a minimum 12 to 14 high card points, the bidding would have looked like this first example. <coughs> it would have been one diamond, one spade, one no trump. He didn't do that, so he doesn't have 12 to 14 points. <coughs> if he had 15 to 17 points, he would have opened the bidding one no trump. So therefore, he doesn't have anything in the range of 12 to 17 points. He must have more points. And he does. He has 18 or 19 high card points. So this bidding sequence, one diamond, one heart, or any one level bid followed by another suit at the one level, and then when the opener jumps to two no trump, he is showing 18 or 19 high card points. And now the responder can reassess his hand and decide where to place them. And he will obviously be going to game. Right, some more no trump questions. These are no trump bids by the responder. <coughs> so this is where your partner opens something and you are bidding no trumps as the responder. So the opener here bids one heart. If you bid one no trump, how many high card points are you showing? Pause the video. You are showing six to nine high card points and no fit with partner. What happens if the opener opens one club and you're the opener's partner, the responder, and you bid two no trump? What is that showing? That is showing 10 to 12 high card points and no major. If you had a four card major, you would have bid it on the one level. But because you didn't, you have jumped to two no trump, so you have more than this one no trump range, more than the six to nine but not enough to go all the way to game. So you're showing 10, 11 or 12 high card points. Opener bids, third example, opener bids one club, responder bids one heart, opener bids two clubs, and responder bids two no trump. So here the opener has bid clubs twice, he's bid his own suit twice, and you should remember that that shows that he has at least six clubs, otherwise he can't bid his own suit twice. The responder is now allowed to pass because this two club bid is an old suit. It is not forcing. But responder doesn't pass. He bids two no trump. So what he's showing is firstly he does not have six hearts. Otherwise he could have rebid those. And secondly he's showing a bit more strength than that six plus. He has 10 or 11 or maybe 12 high card points. The third, fourth example. Opener opens one spade, responder bids two clubs, opener bids two diamonds, and responder bids two no trump. So the one spade showed a five card major, the two clubs showed at least ten high card points and a club suit. The two diamonds now shows that the opener had a two suited hand. <coughs> 
So he had at least five spades and at least four diamonds. And the two-note trump, again, would show 10 to 12 high card points because the responder could have passed or he could have supported spades if he wanted to, if he was very weak. Even, he could even support spades with only two if he was desperate. In this next example, the opener opens one spade, responder bids two diamonds, opener bids two no trump, and responder bids three no trump. So again, the responder is showing 10 or more high card points by bidding a new suit on the two level. The opener is just showing a minimum hand, being 12 to 14 high card points. And the responder is showing that he has enough points for game against 12 from his partner. So he must have at least 13 high card points to go to game. In this example, the opener bids one club, responder bids one heart, opener rebids two clubs, and the responder goes to three no trump. So again, the opener is showing six clubs and a minimum hand. The responder bid one heart, which is unlimited, and three no trump, showing he also has an opening hand. He has 13 high card points or more, so he's happy to play in three no trump with a partner who has only 12 high card points. And the final example, opener bids a club, responder bids a heart, opener bids a spade, and responder bids one no trump. How many points does that one no trump show? Again, it just shows six to nine high card points and no fit for partner suit, so he doesn't have four spades. That's the end of lesson seven. Join us again for lesson eight.